Hey everybody, welcome. 7th of June. 7th of June, 1967. Uh, what am I talking about? No, 2017. Ah, uh, yeah, I just... The sun came out. It's been so dreary, the weather of late. And I thought, I'm gonna open the doors here. I'm just going to throw a few pots, you know. Just, I felt like I needed to, you know. It was like I needed, I needed to get back onto the healing wheel <laughs> because clay is the way. So I'm actually throwing here some. These are going to be some cylinder. Some cylinder bottles, which I'm going to paddle. Uh, paddle to on two sides, or maybe on four sides, to alter alter the alter the form, you know. Okay. Bringing up the clay here, keeping it conical. Um, big hello to all those people Big hello to all those folks up there in Boston at Mud Flats, where I was this last week with uh, Tom Muhammadah. We had a joint last Thursday, 1st of June, we had a joint, a joint workshop there. So a big hello to all those up there. Yeah, it was like we were on a stage, you know, doing our thing. <laughs> Some chap there, I don't know who he is. So basically, I think I'm going to move that camera just a little bit over here. Dee, 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 dee. Like that. Yeah, basically, what are we doing? We're looking at a cylinder, aren't we? It's basically just a closed in cylinder form. It's not difficult to, to throw, really. Well, I mean, unless. Uh, once you've mastered, you know, the cylinder. So I'm sort of like looking, trying to look for a straightish cylinder here. And then, this is two pounds of clay, by the way. So then what I want to do is, I'm basically going, what I want to do is, is, is narrow in the, in the top here. So I'm going to gradually start like this. If you squeeze the top of a pot here, it will invariably come out further down it'll, it'll want to it'll want to widen here if I if I do if I try and narrow it at the top here it'll start to protrude out there so you've got to keep working that in you see and of course remember as you as you narrow as you as you collar the wall thickness gets thicker 
So at the same time as dealing with this here, you've got to you've got to pull this up here as well. You've got to keep just thinning it, you see. Right, before I do that, I'm just going to take my throwing stick and whip it up and down the outside here to get rid of these these throwing rings because I don't want them on the outside here. In this case, so all right, taking a little water here now on the top and doing this six points of contact, okay? That's one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's, it's like a constrictive movement. And I'm constricting the top of the pot. So you want to do this in stages. Just do it so far and then have a look at what's going on here. Because you might need to come down a bit then and make a little adjustment there. You see? All right. Keep it nicely watered here. Again, let's do that again. Let's constrict it in. So when you constrict clay, when you compress it in on itself, the clay, the clay wants to it wants to escape, you see. It wants to find a, a place perhaps where there's a where there's a gap between your fingers and the clay will want to escape there. You must close off all escape routes, okay? So when you do this, don't do it like that, because you've lost you've left an escape route over there. Make sure your, your hands are dead opposite when you do it, okay? Six points of contact, burr constrictor. Bring that in like that, okay? So when you clay, when the clay is constricted, when the clay is compressed here, it sometimes behaves fun in an odd way. It sometimes it doesn't completely it, the the plate the platelets of clay don't always just compress upon one another in a dead straight fashion. Sometimes they go a little bit kinked like this, you see. And then you get I don't know if you can see, but on the top here, I've got a little bit of a, a little bit of a kink developing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift it up, thin it out, you see, pull it up. And the best to deal with these little kinks before they they become too too strong as it were you know too exaggerated okay so we've got like a a straight form here and a shoulder all right here now let's just continue to bring it in a bit more like that Okay, now I want to work on this shoulder here, decide the form of that shoulder and how I want it to be. So let's just bring the camera here just for a quick bit of detail. I don't know how much battery I've got left, it doesn't look like I've got too much. So I'm going to have to be quick here. Let's just, let's just work on that shoulder together there, okay? So, so I'm going to use my throwing stick here. So actually I want this to be a roundish shoulder. Like that. Okay. Now what we've got to do here is I want to nip it in a bit more there. You put your finger down inside right into here, supporting the shoulder there. Bird is singing, isn't it? Uh, So you leather, leather your tops, okay?
Listen to that bird. It's the sunshine, isn't it? The sun has made him sing. It makes us sing too, doesn't it? it certainly makes me sing. So, pulling back the camera again. Uh, okay, quickly now. Something like that. Seem to have a bit of reflection over there, didn't it? through that other window. Okay, so so I want to eyeball him now for that he's nice. He's reasonably straight. All right, and we're going to put in a bevel here at the base, or well, as always. Okay, because these are not really trimmed as such. I'll show you how we do them, how we finish these off, because these are altered, you see. So the bottom is, for the moment though, we just put in a, uh, just an undercut like that. Okay, folks, there it is. That's a two pound straight, straight cylinder with a, um, with a top there like that, with a neck. Um, so have a go at doing one of those. That's two pounds of clay, and that'll be good exercise for you. Thanks for joining us, and please go to my website, simonleachpottery.com. And we have workshops there, so join us for a workshop. Sign up for a workshop if you fancy, and uh, come along here to Milheim, Pennsylvania. Beautiful scenery around here, Amish country, nice valleys. You won't be disappointed. <laughs> so yeah, and um, yeah, I'm taking orders on these leech treadle wheels. If anybody's interested, I need another person to make up a, a batch. So if you're umming and ahhing, then 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 get in touch. Uh, follow me on steamit.com. Um, check that one out. S T W E M I T steamit.com and I will see you shortly in the next video. I'm going to throw a few of these and then we're going to take a paddle and I'm going to, to paddle them when they're leather hard, see what we can do with them. Okay folks, hey, keep practicing and I will see you in the next video. Bye 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 bye.